Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Protests in Minneapolis over the death of George Floyd took a shocking turn last night when demonstrators broke into a police station and set it on fire. Anger over Floyd's death is also building in other cities all across America. There were protests last night in places like Denver, in Phoenix, in New York City, Columbus, Ohio, Los Angeles, and Chicago, Gale. And hanging over all of this for context is the simple fact that young black men and boys have had a 1 in 1,000 chance of dying at the hands of police in recent years, according to the strongest available research on the subject. That certainly puts into context the anger that you see on the street here. That is more than two times the rate that white men and boys die at the hands of police. And if there's a, a, a way to understand what's behind all this, there's a long history, and then there's also mm -hmm. that short and violent history that I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And that is what the protesters, exactly what the protesters want you to know, Tony. There is a lot of pain and anger in Minneapolis this morning. And based on what Tony just said, you see there's a lot of pain and anger in this country. The NBA's Minnesota Timberwolves released a statement sending condolences to his family. It says in part, quote, we will work tirelessly to use our voices to influence change, encourage healing, and promote thoughtful action as we move forward. Kevin Burleson is an assistant coach with the team. He also went to the University of Minnesota, and he is a brother of CBS Sports' Nate Burleson. Good morning to you, Kevin. We're glad to see you. I'm sorry, though, it's under these circumstances. I know you know this city very well. I'm curious about what you saw and what you heard last night, how close you live to the area. Well, yeah, I'm right downtown, so, um, you know, I'm hearing the sirens and uh, the protesters all night, and... Um, it's tough because, you know, it's one of the things where obviously you don't want the vandalism, the damage, and, um, you know, some of the violence, but you, you could feel the frustration and the sadness in the city. So it's kind of, it's just hard to, you know, tell people how to mourn. And um, obviously I don't condone the violence and everything like that, but it's, it's you know, you could feel their pain, you could feel the city's pain. You said it's hard to tell people how to mourn. Are you concerned that the looting will overshadow the, what this is really all about, the death, the very untimely, unfortunate death of George, George Floyd. Are you concerned that that message will be lost in all of this? Um, yes, somewhat, um, because it, it, this is not what it's about. Um, I think if you uh, talk to most of the protesters, even some of them that are uh, doing some of the damage, they're saying things like, you know, we don't want to do this, and um, this is not what we're about, uh, but we don't know what else to do. Uh, we're frustrated. Uh, we feel like we don't have a voice. So I think uh, it's kind of almost like they have their hands in the air and, um, and just looking for answers. Yeah, it's hard, though, Kevin, when you look at the images and people are burning down their own communities or they're taking TVs from Target. You think, what has that got to do with the death of George Floyd? But again, I think yeah. people have to look at the history of what has happened in Minneapolis. Yeah, I mean, um, it's one of them things where, you know, I was talking to my brother, and one of the things we talked about it, this is not shocking because this is something that happens all the time in, in many cities. And in Minneapolis, uh, uh, Philando Castillo, just about four years ago, you know, I think people thought, you know, there were going to be some type of police reform and some hope. And then when the officer got off on that, and there's a lot of pent up anger. You're talking about um, the, Phil that, you're talking about the Philando Castillo case. There, so. Kevin? You're talking yeah, about I mean, the Philando Castillo yeah, that, case, I, where he was shot in the car with his seatbelt on, and where he announced, I have a gun and a yes. permit to have a gun. You're talking about that case? Yes. Yeah, I'm talking about that case. And I actually wasn't here for that, but I remember seeing that, and, um, I mean, obviously, tears came to my eyes, because that can have been me, my brother, my cousin, or anybody, and um, I think the city, uh, you know, holds that. And like I said, there's things that happen all the time that's not filmed. Um, that stays in that community, and that trauma just stays in, inside of them. So when things like this happen, um, a senseless death, almost in slow motion in front of you, um, I mean, that pent-up anger has to come out. So I don't condone it. I, don't, I think most of the protesters don't condone a lot of stuff's going on, but they, ha they feel like they have no choice. Kevin, it's, it's Anthony Mason. I know you all had a, a team meeting about this. What, what did you say in that meeting? Well, I mean, honestly, uh, to be honest, for myself, um, I was a little emotional, so I actually was more observative and listened, but we had a lot of leaders on the, in that meeting, our, our GM, um, our, our head coach, and a lot of other 
staff members talked, and um, it was a more is more about you know you know how some of the players and um, the staff and Coach Saunders were talking about how we're gonna help heal um, the community and how we can um, support Georgian's family and um, you know whatever we can do. So it, it was a good meeting, and I think a lot of players are really want to be involved and they want to be involved in the right way. And um, you know you'll see some soon, I'm pretty sure. All right, I thought it was interesting, Kevin, that you said you can't tell people how to mourn in circumstances yeah. like this. What's your bottom line on what you hope we will all take away from this? Well, um, you know, just looking at the city and how people are uniting, I mean, it might not be exactly the right way uh, for, uh, you know, a viewer and saying, hey, they're looting, they're doing this and doing that. But you'll see white, black, uh, Asian, there's all different types of races downtown. Um, supporting, uh, and everybody's not looting and everybody's not um, vandalizing, but they're supporting because they want to see justice. And, and it's, I mean, in my opinion, All just right. to be real, it's ridiculous that we're not seeing justice swiftly. So um, I just want, you know, everybody to take away that we are uniting down here. Um, there's people on the front lines that are really doing great things. There's activists out here that's uh, been doing it for a long time. And really pushing um, you right. know, for, for police reform and all that. So we're going to get justice. All right, Kevin Burleson, thank you.